Um, I'm hoping this will be a helpful introduction to the old and new style of mainsprings on Smith Corona portable typewriters. What I'm holding here is the original style that carried them up, I think, all the way through the 1950s. Just a cylinder with uh, the spring inside. There you can see on the back, you can see the, the ratchet and the spring inside. And the, the two styles have a few things in common. First of all, they connect to the typewriter with just two screws on the underside. And they both have a release right here. That little arm goes over the piece that secures the ratchet. So I'm going to release that arm. It just bends back. And once it bends back, this ratchet piece starts to move freely. I don't think I got it all the way. Yeah, I did. Now that I've done that, I can put tension on the mainspring by moving that gear. And now the mainspring has power on it. So you don't have to wind the draw band around the mainspring before you install it. You can install the draw band and then you can tension the mainspring until you get it the way you want. Once you have the tension adjusted, you're happy with it, you can bend that piece back and set this so it doesn't wobble anymore. All right, that's the old style of mainspring from the, uh, probably the 40s too. This one is from the 1950s. Now here's the new style. Smith Corona had so much time to think about these typewriters that it's kind of a silly refinement, but it is a refinement. There's a, there's a spiral on here. It's actually inspired by a, a clock mainspring that, uh, that's called the fusée. It's a French word, goes back to the 1400s, and it equalizes the power of the spring across the travel of the typewriter so that as you think about it, the, higher, the, the tighter you pull it, the harder it's going to pull. But when it's on this spiral thing, that tends to even out the tension through the, through the travel of the carriage. It's, it's pretty ingenious. So this is, a, I think, a nylon piece. In the back we find the very same thing. There's the, the gear, and here's the little stub that holds the ratchet in place. It's actually easier to see on this machine, or on this version. We're going to move that out of the way, move it back to the left, or just, you know, clear. Now it's clear, so this moves, and now I can tension the spring like that till I get it the way I want after I've installed the draw band. The draw band goes through a hole here. I use 50 or 60 pound test fishing line. The secret is you got to get a big enough knot there so it doesn't just pull back through and you have to do it all over. So again, you install the draw band, then you tension this gear, and once you've got that the way you want it, you simply reset the piece here over so the ratchet is secure and it can't unwind. I hope this is helpful.